In this video, I'll talk you through the final stages of Elizabeth's exploratory literature review on interfaith dialogue. That's stages 5 and 6, which you can read about in chapter 8. Stage 5 was to rewrite the literature review, and Elizabeth did this in a similar way as I presented to you in the video on stage 2 of her process. She exported the themes by generating outputs on the sets containing categorised codes. To do this, she selected the relevant set and then selected all the codes within it. So I'll just do that for this dialogue theory set. I'm selecting them all, holding my shift key down. And then she right clicked over those selected nodes in order to export them. She chose to export the reference view so that she could open up the files in Microsoft Word and she included the name and the description along with each file. Exporting in this way creates a separate file for each of the categorised codes within the theme. I'll just show you one of those files. Here is the output for the code RESPECT. Each file includes all the coded references for one of the codes. So here we're looking at the code RESPECT and you can see that the code definition is displayed in the output, along with the name of the literature resource that each coded reference comes from. And remember, Elizabeth had named all her documents in a systematic way, author, date, and the title of the resource itself, which is important when using it for citations, as she did. The colour that she had assigned to the codes doesn't come through in the output, so Elizabeth needed to refer back to her NVivo project in the Nodes folder in order to see those colours. This was because the colour coding system she'd used for codes belonging to themes were important, so that she could also identify relevant sections of the literature that she only had as hard copy resources, and thus include them when writing up her literature review. When writing up, she again had the output reports on one side of the screen, and the Microsoft Word file on the other, similar to what I showed you in the video about stage one of this project. In writing the review, the code definitions became very important because they informed Elizabeth's explanation of the nuances within each theme and category. The exported coded references provided an easily accessible list of citations for Elizabeth to add as evidence for her propositions. Stage 6 was an ongoing expansion of the literature review, in that during this stage, Elizabeth continued to repeat the processes discussed in the previous stages. So her literature review was repetitive and iterative in nature, and once Elizabeth had established her process, she was able to continue the literature review and add resources over time, keeping track of her thinking and enabling her to complete a literature review over a period of a couple of years. This completes the steps of Elizabeth's process using Envivo to undertake her review exploring the literature on interfaith dialogue.